It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. A-10 tournament from Brooklyn. We're looking at a couple favorites, co-favorites here with VCU at 2-1, to one, along with St. Louis, 2-1. to one. Welcome to the Line Makers on Sporting News. I'm Micah Roberts with Rick Heron. Rick, I know this is a tough one for you, but we got to pinpoint somebody in this conference to win or favor. But you're him and Han well, a little bit. Uh, Micah, the, the normal pick would be St. Louis winning 12 in their last 13 and covering 11 or 12 of them or whatever it was. But, but they got beat over the weekend, too, and everybody can get beat. VCU is VCU. And they can make another deep run under Shaka Smart in the NCAA tournament. Um, you're looking at Temple, UMass, LaSalle. Then you go Charlotte, St. Joe's, Richmond. They can all beat each other. I think if you, if you had to pick somebody other than St. Louis or VCU right now, going into the tournament, you'd probably take the hot team would be Temple. Seven straight wins and wins over VCU, UMass, and LaSalle during that stretch. And the thing I like about Temple, they're six to one, by the way, to win the tournament. The thing I like about them is their road record against the spread. Very Good. tough on the road. Ten and four against the spread, that's fantastic. And that might help them be have a little more of an edge on a neutral court here. Uh, also looking at LaSalle, they've won seven of their last nine games coming in the tournament. They're six to one. And then Butler, nobody's talking about Butler Every, now. Everybody forgot about Butler, Micah, and they're 24 and seven. They've got some big wins. They beat Indiana during the year. A couple other big wins. They beat Gonzaga, Gonzaga 30 and two as we, as we speak. Um, yeah, everybody forgot about them. And it is Brad Stevens in a tournament atmosphere. Tournaments are different than the regular season. They've coaching. had some, they've had, yeah, and, and Butler had a couple of bad losses at VCU and at St. Louis. They're not playing that on VCU or St. Louis's own floor in this tournament. That could be a tough out, too. All right, so do we have any value with some teams coming in that is going to gonna be getting points in the tournament and then maybe a long shot or so? Or do you go with the favorite and just roll with St. Louis? I'd be looking to play individual games, uh, maybe take a look at LaSalle if they're getting points. One of the best backcourts in the country with Ramon Galloway and Tyreek Durham and Sam Mills and company. Um, they're very, very good. UMass getting points in the tournament. There are going to be a lot of close games in this tournament. It's almost impossible to pick the winner unless you're just going to say you think St. Louis is the best team. There you go. We uh, remind you to join us on Sunday after uh, the tournament uh, selection show. We're going to give odds and numbers on all the pairings and inside look of kind of what we've been doing our entire career behind the counter and making point spreads on the fly before the spreads are out in any of the Las Vegas sports books. So check it out.